Okay, here we come to the IGCSE 2023 October and November um, additional mathematics paper one set one. So the first question is about the graph of trigonometric ratio. And this time we have the cosine graph. So how about that? Well, we draw the original cosine graph and then compare with the new graph we have here. So for the cosine graph, it start with nine days and then end at 360 degrees. And also we can draw a little bit more for the negative values of x. All right, so the, here is the y is equal to sine, oh, sorry, cosine x. All right, this is the original function for the cosine graph. All right, so now we need to think about that how this original function can change into the new function at the show here. So uh, we need to think about the values of a, b, and c, or what will they affect the graph? So here, for the very first one, I always think about the period, or where it is here, or the value of b will affect the period of the function, of a trigonometric function graph. So here, uh, how can we get the period? Okay, uh, we have two ways. Uh, first of all, you can uh, think about the maximum to the maximum. How many degrees does it take? So for the original thing, it's from the maximum to the, another maximum. It takes like 360 degrees. So the original period should be 360 degrees. But now for this, oh, this new graph, we don't have the two maximums, right? So we can also do the other way one, which is using the minimum. All right? Actually, between these two minimum, we can also find the period. So you can see that all right, the period for the new graph should be um, 540 degrees minus negative 540 degrees. So which is uh, 1080 degrees. But the original one is 360 degrees, right? So you can see that it is like triple or you can just uh, using the division or 1080 degrees divided by 360 degrees, it should be like three. So we, we know that the period is like three times. So we get the value of B because B will affect the period. So period here for the B should be three times. So B must be three, all right? And then next we think about the amplitude, which is the value of A. Well, this value of A will affect the amplitude of the graph. So what is the amplitude? The amplitude is meaning the maximum value of y minus the minimum value of y. So for the original one, the maximum is like positive one, and then the minimum of the graph will be negative one, right? So the original uh, original amplitude, uh, right here, original amplitude should be one minus negative one, which is two, right? It's easy. So how about for the new graph? All right, the new graph, the maximum is to be negative one, the y, all right? So for the new amplitude here, it should be negative one minus the new minimum should be negative nine, right? So minus negative nine, we get a plus eight, right? Well, so amplitude must be positive, so it should be a x. So you can see that the amplitude is changing from two to x. All right, so think about the multiples. It should be like times four, right? All right, it's four times the original amplitude. So now we get the value of a. All right, the amplitude which is four times, so a must be four. All right. So here's the most has. Uh, the most difficult part, which is the value of C. Actually, this value, uh, we, are, uh, we are doing a transformation, which is a translation of the graph. So we know about translation. If it's like positive, it will go in upward, it will go upwards, and then for negative thing, it will go downward, right? So let me think about, let's think, think about that. Uh, if it is like for the original graph or just after the A and B, the maximum point should be 
four, right? Because uh, when we times four, or right, the maximum, the original maximum should be positive four and negative four, right? But then, all right, the original maximum should be positive four, and then the original, the original minimum should be negative four. But then here it comes to negative one for the new maximum, and then for the new minimum it comes to negative nine. So we can compare this and then see that oh, this graph is actually going downwards compared with the uh, four times cosine x over three. All right. So here we can compare this and then calculate that uh, from the for the maximum is from four to negative four, so it's moving downward for five units. Or if we compare the maximum, or we can compare the minimum, we can also get the same answer, which is like um, the original is negative four minus the new negative. Uh, new maximum, uh, new minimum. Sorry, uh, the mu new minimum value of y is negative nine, so it should be still positive five units. So, but remember, here it's going downward from positive four to negative one, or from negative four to negative nine. So it's going downward. So the value of c must be a negative and negative five. So here are the answers for question number one. Thank you. Thank you.